we know right now if they print basically over 4,000, they are worth less than MSRP on the secondary market. My card of the day is the Ripken cartoon card. Well, we made it. Give yourself a pat on the back. It is December 1st, 2020, the very last month of Project 2020. I cannot believe this is the last month. I cannot believe there is no next month in Project 2020. This is the last couple of weeks in the set, and congratulations, you have made it this far. We are almost to the end. And welcome to the Project 2020 Nightly News. My name is Chris, otherwise I'm on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website, CRTSportsCards.com, is where you want to go for everything related to Project 2020 in the future and in the now. One of the biggest questions that I have received over the past, I would say, 24 hours is, where is that Griffey going to print? Give me a number. And so I said, you know what? Let's take a look at the numbers on eBay at 7 o'clock to see if we can get any indication of where this card might print at. At 7 o'clock on eBay, 89 copies had sold on eBay within the first, basically 24 to maybe 36 hours of the card being released. Could we see this card print over 10,000? I think it's a high likelihood that card comes in over 10. Could it print over 20? I really, really hope it does not print over 20,000. I hope it doesn't even print over 10,000. I want to see a safe number, four to 5,000, a little bit of a bin baller bump, but I don't think that's going to happen. And in speaking on the rainbow foil board parallel of this card, if this card prints at 20,000, a just awfully high number, a maybe awful number for some people here, that would mean there are 1,000 rainbow foil boards of this card, which would make them not as valuable because today we just saw the market get set for the Gregory Siff Mike Trout foil board. The first one off the market, $625. That's a card that printed over just barely over 400. So it's very, very nice to see the market get set that high because I think these rainbow foil boards are going to be very rare, very exclusive, and very expensive. And all of this kind of hoopla around the Ben Baller Ken Griffey Jr. card is right on the heels of the print runs from last week where we only had four cards, so sample size was very low. But on the Monday and Tuesday cards, none of those four cards printed over 2,000. The Andrew Thiel, Dwight Gooden led the way, 1,980. And then right behind that was Gregory Siff with his Ted Williams, 1,923. The Mays and the Brett both printed in the 1700s. The Brett was the lowest at 1,705. But all of that is what has happened. What is happening today in Project 2020? Tops again releases a three card bundle, which basically confirms they're gonna release three cards a day for the remainder of the set. I do have a couple of concerns with this approach. And number one, there are gonna be some really great cards that get lost in the shuffle now with this sort of shotgun finish towards the end. I really hope, I really wish that we had kept this two card sort of process through the entire set, but we're not gonna get that. But then number two, and this one's the most surprising to me, I never thought of King Saladin and Tyson Beck as anywhere near the same artist. They always, to me, stood out. But when you put three cards together, you're gonna run into situations where cards are going to look very similar and it doesn't do the artist any favors. So when you take a look at the Mark McGuire by Beck and the Ted Williams by King Saladin, they kind of look like they're from the same artist. Now, we do have to have a day here soon where Don C releases like six cards in a day to get cut back up. So maybe there will be a double Don C here day upcoming. But I think from an artist's perspective, having two cards a day was better for them because there was always a contrast in the card. I can only think of one time where I saw both cards and go, I think they're kind of the same card. But this Beck, this Saladin look similar and that's unfortunate for them. 
But there's also a positive flip side to the situation when you have three cards released in a day. There is typically a card that stands out far and above the other two cards. And this Matt Taylor Mike Trout stands head and shoulders above the two cards that came out today for a couple of different reasons. Number one, this Mike Trout was one of my most anticipated releases, which means I will be giving somebody who watches this show a free copy of the card. All you have to do is leave the print run in the comments below. The person close to the print run will win a free copy of the card. A couple of tiebreakers here. You can go over, but the person who does not go over would win the card. And the second tiebreaker, just to ensure that we don't have multiple people here winning, is the first person to post up the number under the print run will win if there is a tiebreaker. So put in your guesses early and find a number somebody already hasn't done so far. And remember, the last Mike Trout printed just over 8,000. So hopefully you use that as a barometer, but remember, Matt Taylor, recent results have not been that strong. And the second reason why I really, really like this card and it's because I've been saying this for many, many months in Project 2020. Matt Taylor is an artist who should have had a foil background on all of his cards. His cards were muted when you got them in hand, but if they were rainbow foil board, they would have been an incredibly striking set in this overall set. And this Mike Trout is Matt Taylor's selection for his rainbow foil board parallel in Project 2020. So when you look at the card and then you imagine what it's gonna look like with that finish on it, this card is going to look fantastic. I really hope it prints right around the Gregory Sif number so we keep that 400, maybe a little bit less print run, but we will see if there's any carryover from the Ken Griffey Jr. from yesterday and that three card bearing. With that, I hope you have a fantastic evening. Good luck on your guesses, and I'll see you back tomorrow night for episode number 127 of the Project 2020 Nightly News.